Are you guys ready for this story? She had a private toy pick and she got a ton of stuff and paid $275 for it. New old stock stuff. She doesn't even have it all listed. All three items I'm going to show you came from that private pick. And these items are amazing. So this is the first one. It sold for $446.81. Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. All right, you guys, it is time for a featured members Bolo video. These are members of my YouTube channel and they have shared some Bolos with us. Some of these are unexpected and some of these are big money, but stay tuned. I'm guessing that some of these are gonna knock your socks off. All right, I've got 41 of them coming your way and I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it and what it sold for. Let's get started. All right, so the first item comes from Got Junk in Our Trunk, and she is so close to a 1,000 subs. So head on down to the description, click on her link, and sub her up. She has tons of what sold videos and sourcing videos, so definitely check her out, and let's get her to 1K. The first item she sold is this awesome vintage Rushton, Rushton, Rushton Daisy Bell Cow Rubber Face check him out is he not cute but wait until you hear this she was at a yard sale and she said she dug him out of a pile of stuff so they had no clue that it had any value probably thought it was junk and she paid two dollars for it do you love it and she sold this for a best offer of 150 dollars. so you can see she did a great job of showing all the damage so that the buyer knew exactly what to expect. And she also put right up here under the condition, this is the best place to put um, what is wrong with the item. I don't, th I don't know where this is at on the mobile app. Is it under the item specifics on the mobile app? I can never find it. Um, I list from my computer, so I know where it's at there. But if anybody knows, if you can do this on, your, on the app, let me know in the comments. All right. Or does everybody just either not use it if they list from their phone or do they go to their laptop and add it? All right, the next item she sold. So I just love this, even in poor conditions. Some of these can go for like eight, $900. It's crazy. Some of them are big money. All right, the next item she sold is this vintage plastic 1993 McDonald's toy French fry maker. <laughs> it's a French fry maker. How funny is that? Super cute. Is it Play-Doh? I think it's Play-Doh. It's got to be Play-Doh, right? Anyway, she got this at an online auction for $2 and took a best offer of $59.99 plus shipping. The next item are these vintage Jackie Chan Adventures paperback books, 1 through 12. Um, martial arts ephemera is uh, what she put in the title, which are great keywords. She used to run estate sales, so she's good with titles and descriptions. So definitely follow her over on YouTube. She ended up taking a best offer of $32.99 for these, and she got them at a thrift store for $4. The next item here is this vintage Mickey Gilly endless tour jacket. I'm guessing that's some sort of band or maybe piano player. Not really sure. But these satin jackets can do really, really good. Um, made in the USA, definitely a good indicator that it is vintage. She sold this for $129.99 uh, in two days, and she got it free from a friend. All right, the next three items come from Mom Knows Treasures, and this is her eBay store. Oh, she found a Kitty Kitty Kittens. If you guys don't know about these, these are a big money bolo. Um, I would auction that baby and start it at $89.99. They just seem to get tons of attention, but I'm sure she did her uh, homework because she is definitely a bolo finder. Oh, she's got a Lisa Frank too. Wow, she's got a great story. You guys should definitely go check it out. It will be linked down in the description. Look at this, a Neopet, love it. Okay, so what did she sell? She sold this beautiful pinwheel quilt, cream peach colors, twin double bed, and it is a quilt. And she sold this on Mercari. 
Very, very cool. And let's see, where did she get it? I'll try to move the bloopers to the end. Oh, this is awful. All right. A bale of linens. She paid $100 and there were approximately 100 items in it. So about a dollar a piece. And she sold this for $80 on Mercari. Bloopers at the end. All right, this cookie jar, this MCM mid-century modern, all black vintage Scotty cookie jar stamped. Is it Marcia or ah, M-A-R-C-I-A? Is that Marcia? I don't know. Of California. Um, right here. There it is. All right. She sold this for $50 on best offer and she got it at a yard sale for five. And that is super, super cute. The next item she sold is this Elvis Presley music box from 1999. It sings, Are You Lonesome Tonight? Here is what the bottom looks like. And she ended up taking a best offer of $45. So not far off her $50 asking price. And she sold this or she bought this at an online auction for $20. The next item she sold is this When in Rome, The Promise 4 Mixes USA Dance Remix New Wave Hype Sticker Rare. So this is a record. And she got this at a YouTube auction, but she's not sure which auction she bought it at because she buys records at different auctions. But she ended up selling this for a best offer of $47.50, and her cost of goods was approximately $3. All right, Manny DX44, newer YouTube channel, um, putting out some what sold videos. This says, this was staring me in the face and I didn't notice. Does anybody want to go find out what it is? Right here, it looks like he might be at the Goodwill bins. So go check that out. All right, what did he sell? He sold this Flame Boss Wi-Fi barbecue temp controller fan. Huh? No clue what that is. But uh, let's see. He got this at an Amazon liquidation bins. So that's where you go to those liquidation centers that are all Amazon returns, or I don't know if it's overstock or if it's just returns. I'm not sure how that works. If anybody knows, you can feel free to put that in the comments. But he paid five bucks for this and it sold for $210 free shipping. The next item is this Clone Wars, the complete series Star Wars. He got this uh, at a garage sale and a lot for $10. So he paid about a dollar for this. And he sold it for $135 plus shipping. And it looks like it's still, oh, I thought it was sealed, but maybe not. Nope, not even sealed. So it's very good condition right here. All right. The next item he sold is this study Bible. And it says giant print. I don't know if he showed a picture of the inside or not. So one recommendation I would have is opening it up and showing how big the print is, if that's one of the features. But I'm guessing probably the person buying this knows how big the print is. A bunch of free books from an estate sale sold it for $58 and free shipping on that one. All right, the next item comes from Vintage Barbie. And this is her YouTube channel. Head on over and check her out. Um, she really just started releasing content like in the last two months. And she's got some estate sales where she takes you shopping with her. And she does a really great job, her and her husband. So definitely go check them out. And what did she sell? She sold this old ledger, leather book, unused blank pages, antique journal, diary writing, vintage. $177.50. Check that out. Now that is cool, right? And it looks like she got this at an estate sale for $3. And the buyer did pay shipping on that. The next item is this vintage 1960 Burnett ponytail Barbie, vintage Ken doll and Midge. So she used this as her main photo and it actually has three dolls with it. So, hmm, interesting strategy because you can kind of see him peeking, peeking through in the back. But I'm guessing this is like the main Barbie that is going to stand out and sell this item for more. Um... She got this at an auction and it was in a lot and she thinks her cost of goods was approximately $50 for these and she sold it for $290 plus shipping. The next item is this teddy bear, Terry John Woods, 20 inch 
tall, golden boot button eyes, five pointed, five pointed joints. So some key words that I never would have thought to use. So that is awesome. Um, definitely learning all the time, new keywords and things that help you sell things. Look at the tag. How cool is that? She sold this for $202.50. And this was one of her personal items. The next item comes from Lake Threads. And he literally just started his channel, you guys. So go show him some love with a sub. Um, welcome to my channel. And then he's got some quick vintage finds highlights from this weekend. So um, follow him and subscribe. And he's going to be putting out more content. All right, let's see what he sold here. He sold this Williams Sonoma Country Barbecue Oval Dinner Plate, but he didn't sell it once, you guys. He sold it four times. Here's what the back looks like. So um, I, it's not vintage. It's just probably maybe a discontinued or retired um, plate. Not sure. And he got, he paid 15 for the set and he sold it for $39.99 four times. And he picked those up at an estate sale. The next item is this, oh, I don't know this brand, D-A-M-E-E. -E. I'm not even going to try to say that because I'll probably say it wrong. And then you all will be correcting me in the comments. So I'll just spell it for you. D-A-M-E-E -E is the brand. Let me see if I can get you a close up here. Right there it is. Never heard of that. Abstract watercolor swing jacket. Great keywords. Nice. I would not have known. I would have called it a blouse or a button up blouse. <laughs> I am so bad with keywords when it comes to clothing. So it's a swing jacket, I guess. He got it at a thrift store for three bucks and he sold it for $69.99 plus shipping. The next item he sold is this gunned Sesame Street Super Grover 16 inch toy from 2013. He got this at a strip thrift store for $3 and he sold it for a best offer of $44. The next item comes from eBay store Groundhog. No YouTube channel. Store is linked down below. So definitely go and check it out. As you can see, very, very um, diverse um, style of selling. Pretty much sells anything and everything and a lot of vintage. So super fun store to look through. All right, let's see what she sold here. That's not where I want to be. Here we are. History of Western Iowa, 1882. This is a hardcover book and it is old. Look at the front. It's taped. Has been taped with um, clear tape as seen in the photos. Can you believe it? And it's still sold for $169.99 and a box of books from High Bid and I think she paid $10 for the whole box. Or maybe she's saying parted out, it was $10 a piece. I think she paid $10 for the box. So if you're watching, let us know. Did you pay $10 for the box or was the breakdown about $10 per book? Either way, super score. All right, the next item is this antique three-arm brass deco Victorian hanging brass chandelier. She took a best offer of $155 on this and she got it on high bid and she bought, um, let's see, I think she bought a bunch of them, $30 for five of them. Yep. So pretty great deal. High bid. All right. This one, past, present, um, is it Sussex, Sussex City, Woodbury County, Iowa? Uh, 1904 on this one, 826 pages. This one, she took a best offer of 150 and this was also in that book lot. And you can see here, she put some of the photographs that were inside of the book, which is always great to do and the cover page and this here. So, and then she showed the damage. That's crazy. They must be something special. All right. I candy vintage, another store. As you notice, most of these stores have a wide variety of items and a lot of them are vintage. So super, super great stores. So that is also linked down below. No YouTube channel, just a reseller. And if you guys are interested in joining memberships to be in this video, um, if you don't have a YouTube channel, I share your eBay store like I show you right now. And if you have a YouTube channel, I share your YouTube channel and links to both are down in the description for everyone. Um, if you want to join, there is a join button, but sometimes it doesn't show up on the mobile. 
So you can go down to the description and there's a link. If you want to be in this video, it is level two. It's $4.99 a month. And that gets you access to perks. My channel is completely free. The memberships are for the perks. All right, you guys, she sold this vintage. Uh, it's a fur clip. Let's see if I can get you a picture here. There it is. That is a vintage fur clip. Ruby red eyes. Check it out. 100. I think she took a best offer. She had it up for auction at 155 and somebody offered her 130 and she went ahead and took that. So, um, pretty cool. She got it at an auction and paid $30 for it. The next item is this vin vintage. Is it Christina? Christiana? Christiana. Christiana, I think it is. It's either Christiana or it's spelled wrong. Um, micro seed beaded shoulder bag. Let's see if we can find a tag. Christiana. I think I'm saying that right. Okay. And it is in good vintage condition. Look how beautiful this is. It's seed beads, you guys. How amazing is that? That is absolutely beautiful. Uh, got it in an auction lot. And it sold in 30 minutes. For a best offer. <gasps> I think 50 can't read my writing. I think it sold for 50. That would make sense because she had it listed at 65. All right. The next item, the next item she sold is this antique Fenton Barber bottle, Charlton numbered milk glass, Victorian hand painted. So all of those amazing keywords, you can definitely learn by looking at other people's um, eBay stores, look at their titles, look at their photos, look at their descriptions. And that's going to help you to learn these keywords. All right. She sold this one for a best offer of 85 in three weeks. And she paid $22.50 at an online auction. All right. This next item comes from MSG Treasures. MSG's Treasures. I didn't put the S on the end. And you can see here. He's got some really cool content over on his channel and he does some storage units. So if you guys like those kind of videos, you're going to like his channel. And he is a big money bolo finder. Wait until you see this. All right. It is a tank. It's a Russian tank. And look at this. It's got the little figure with it. Let's see if we can get a picture. I don't know if it has any writing on it or not. There it is. This is what it says on the bottom. So if you ever have something like this, definitely include a picture of the bottom for people to see. And he got this at an estate appointment only. I think he bought a whole bunch of them. And this cost of goods ended up breaking down to $15 for this one. And he took a best offer of $300. And if you saw in my other video, he has sold a bunch of those for big money. All right, this is a novelty shoe. So this is a prop, a huge prop. And it's 21 by 11. How funny is that? Size 66. Anyway, he got this in a storage unit that he paid $240 for. And he sold this for $249.99. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this. Ooh, ah, uh, G-I-U-S-E-P-P-E. -E. I don't know. That's how you spell it. And then I think that's Armani, right? Lady Jane, 1996 figure of the year, Florence, Italy, limited edition. He got this at an estate sale on half off day. He paid 30 for it and he took a best offer of $180. The next item is the Thrifty Nichols. And she sells on eBay, but she also has flea market booths. So um, vintage booth what sold. So she goes into her booth and she tells you what she sold from it. So very, very cool. And she was also a part of the Bolo Buddy scavenger hunt. If you guys missed those videos, put into the search bar hashtag Ben's 10 and it will pull up everybody that participated. Super fun challenge. 
and the rural squirrel won that challenge. And she's going to be doing an unboxing on her channel of everything that everybody sent to her as her prize. She's still waiting on everything. So that'll be coming in the future. So definitely sub them up. All right. She sold these Christopher Radko four new boxes of shiny bright, and these are reproduction diamond icicles. So they're not even, um, they're not the old, old ones. So they're a reproduction. Okay. And let's see, what did she pay? She paid a dollar each at the Goodwill. So cost of goods is $4 and she took a best offer of 60. And Christopher Radko is very, very collectible. Some of those can go really, really high. So if you see Christopher Radko, definitely look it up. The next item is this Eric Javis, New York. Oh, geez. Antigua cream black straw hat. I think I said all that right, but I could be wrong. It retails for $490. What? Wow. It is a pre-owned hat. And let's see where she got it. She got this at a Goodwill for $3.99. Took a best offer of $65 plus shipping. The next item is this seven yards of Waverly upholstery fabric, Manderston Cruel, oh wait, Cruel, Cruel, <laughs> uh, birds and squirrels. Here we go. Check that out. Um, and this came from the Goodwill bins. This was a part of the Ben's 10 challenge I was telling you guys about. And it was so funny at the end of the video, she's like, I didn't get a craft item. And I messaged her and I'm like, the fabric was your craft item. So she did really good. And that had sold before the video aired. And she sold this for $99. And it's seven yards. And she paid approximately $7 for this at the Goodwill bins. All right. The next item comes from Philly Flipper, who is almost to 10,000 subscribers. You guys go sub him up. He is putting out lots and lots of content, going to garage sales. He goes to auctions and he takes you guys with him, but he keeps it educational. So you guys will definitely enjoy that aspect of it. All right. What did he sell? He sold these Limpa Press 201 Max Pump System Leg Comfy Sleeve. I don't know. Um, I think, I don't want to say it's like... Um, compression. So I think you put them on your legs and they compress maybe. I don't know. But anyway, he got it in an estate sale for 50 bucks and he sold it in two days for $170 on best offer and the buyer paid shipping. This is a huge lot of um, Boy Scout patches. He got these at his auction house. He had about $5 in all these and he sold these for $175 plus shipping. So do you guys think a reseller bought this or do you think a collector bought this? Let me know what you think in the comments. The next item is this um, Insco kitten or knitten, not kitten, knitten pretty deluxe multi-action musical box. Huh. Cute. Interesting. Okay. Um, Yard sale, five bucks, and he sold it for a best offer as is for $125. You guys, it says parts not working. It doesn't even work. Wow, that's amazing. 125 bucks not working. Um, I think he said it goes for quite a bit more if it is working. So definitely a be on the lookout. A rural squirrel, I was just talking about her. She is who won the Ben's 10 challenge. So um, be sure to sub her up. And she is our Benz member. She goes to the Benz all the time and does challenges with other YouTube channels. Her channel is awesome. Definitely check it out. It's super, super fun watching her dig. All right. She sold this um, Pokemon Master Trainer game board from 1999. And she got this at a thrift store for $8.99 and sold it for $139.99. The next item is this whiskey barrel aged. It's a limited release. It's coffee. <laughs> so she said they waited in line and she got, I can't remember how many she said she got, but she got, I think one for herself and then one or two to sell, I think. And she paid $24.99 for it, but she sold it for $64.99. So that is an example of retail arbitrage. And Starbucks, it seems like their stuff is, it does really well. Some of the older mugs um, and what are those tumbler things? Wow, they can go for crazy money. 
And she sold these roller skates. They are Pacer vintage roller skates. And she told me she sold it even with a typo and she spelled black with a V instead of a C. But you know what? We all do that. It's no big deal. Um, the main things, the important things were all right. And she got these at the Benz for $5 and took a best offer of $60. Antiques at Wondering Creek. Uh, another just awesome eBay store. So I highly encourage you guys to go down and check out these eBay stores. If you follow them, there is a little heart that you can click and that will follow their store. And then you'll get notifications when they list new items. All right. She sold this. Um, pyromania studio glass art fishing float frog stand and she got this at a private pick for three dollars and took a best offer of 62 dollars with free shipping the next item is this marble alabaster jewelry trinket box hinged and let me show you here what it looks like it's just a little hinged box and same thing, that private pick paid $2 and sold it for $49.50, full asking price with free shipping. And the next one just is incredible. Like, I probably would have walked right past this if I'm being completely honest. And if I did pick it up or if it was in a mystery box, I don't know if I would have priced it that high. So I'm really, uh, I think this one's cool. It is a um, outdoor tree ornament. It's a woodpecker. It's nine inches. It is vintage from 1989, and she sold this for $24.50 free shipping. This also came from that private pick, and it was a dollar. And the last set of items comes from 1987 Ventures Tracy, and this is her YouTube channel. She doesn't have a whole lot on it. I'm hoping she's going to put out some more stuff soon. Um, it's been a while since she posted, but she may just be foc focusing on her um, eBay. And I know she's going to be selling on Whatnot. So follow her there also. Philly Flippers on Whatnot. Who else is on Whatnot? I don't know. I'll try to think of it. Got Junk in Our Trunk is starting. I just got approved. So ee! anyway, check this out. This is incredible. Resident Evil 3, or I'm sorry, Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw Controller for Nintendo GameCube Cube, Capcom Complete Unused. Are you guys ready for this story? She had a private toy pick and she got a ton of stuff and paid $275 for it. New old stock stuff. She doesn't even have it all listed. All three items I'm going to show you came from that private pick. And these items are amazing. So this is the first one. It sold for $446.81. The next item she sold on Mercari for $160. It is this Playmate Simpsons Treehouse of Horror, Talking Krusty the Clown from 2001. And this last item are these original G War, G -War tour card set from 1994, Slave Pit Dave Brocky. Punk Rock Op OOP. What's OOP? I should know this. On original paper? No, I don't think that's right. Somebody let me know in the comments. I can't think of what it is. OOP. Uh, sold for $138.47. All right, you guys. Those were your big money and unexpected bolos for the day. She got this at the Goodwill. It says, maybe it was the Goodwill online. Okay, so she bought a bale of linens. You know what? Let me check something here bale of linens for a hundred or for eighty dollars for a bale of linens which was about a hundred items so that's less than a buck an item and she sold um oh wait i lied <laughs> okay let's start over a hundred items a bale of linens bet uh sold it uh oh my gosh okay i'm gonna try this again <laughs> All right. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments which one surprised you the most. And leave me a hat emoji in the comments. Somebody's like, do you always pick owl? I'm like, nope, I'm going to pick hat tonight. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. There's going to be some videos popping up here, here, a subscribe and another video down here. So I'd love for you to subscribe. If you haven't already, please go check out the featured members. They are 
link down below channels and eBay stores. They are amazing, um, really talented resellers. So check them out. Thank you for being here and thanks for watching.